Thank you for renting with us. Before we review boat operations, first, we would like to review our policies and state regulations. On the day of your rental, please bring a driver's license or state ID, a NASBLA approved voter's license, and a credit card that we can put on file. The renter is responsible for anyone who operates the vessel. Use common sense. You are the captain. Everyone's safety is in your hands. Look around occasionally to make sure everyone is remaining in their seats. No one should be standing, leaning over the side, dangling hands or feet over the side. It is very important to remember that a boat has no brakes. Practice stopping a few times so you have a feel of how much distance it takes to stop. While underway, always keep one hand on the wheel and one on the throttle. This allows you to react quickly to any situation that may arise unexpectedly. It is also important to remember that you have no insurance and assume all liability and responsibility from damages incurred to the rental boat from an accident, storm, or sinking, personal liability, bodily harm, damages to others, and property damages, damages from water skiing or other water sporting activities, and damages to the boat, its accessories, including the safety gear, lake chart, or any missing equipment. No night use. Please remember that we do not allow the use of the rental boat between sunset and sunrise. Fueling procedure. When the rental boat leaves the marina, it is full of gas. Renters should be using public gas docks to refuel the rental boat. Renters are responsible for the fuel they consume upon returning to the marina. Renters should slowly pull up to the gas dock. Our staff will assist you with the docking process. At that time, the engine can be turned off. When you return your rental, we will fill the tank and you'll be charged for what we refuel. Engine off, passengers in water. Many of the rental boats are equipped with swim steps and swim ladders. The engine is to be off before people go into the water. Remember, turn off the engine when passengers are boarding or disembarking. Propellers should not be spinning when a passenger is in a vulnerable situation. 150 foot rule. The 150 foot rule, also known as safe passage, is a law specific to New Hampshire. It mandates that any boat within 150 feet of another boater, the shoreline, a swimmer, permitted swimming area, or a dock must be at headway speed. While in the water, observe all warning signs such as no wake zones. Remember, you are responsible for your wake and any damage caused by it. So you want to be sure to stay at an idle speed until you're clear of wake zones. Boating Education Certificate Anyone who operates a vessel over 25 horsepower must provide proof of a valid boating education certificate as per RSA 270D10. Headway speed. Headway speed means the slowest speed that a boat can be operated and maintain steerage. Navigational light requirements. Appropriate navigational lights are required to be displayed at all times between sunset and sunrise for all vessels. Boating under the influence. No person may operate a vessel while under the influence of an intoxicating liquor or drugs or a combination thereof. It is illegal. Additionally, no person may operate a vessel while knowingly have in their possession or in any part of the vessel a controlled drug. Any person convicted of boating while intoxicated will lose their right to operate a vessel for one year and will also lose their license to operate a motor vehicle for a minimum of 90 days. Speed limit, 45 day, 25 night. If you're renting a boat on Lake Winnipesaukee, please note that there is a speed limit on the lake. This is 45 miles per hour during the daytime and 25 miles per hour at night. However, our rental boats are not to be used at night. Please keep in mind that if you go over the speed limit, you could be stopped by Marine Patrol and be fined. from 
Bitchy Boat Company. Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about, about Ryder. Your rental boat will be equipped with all the safety equipment that is legally required for safe operation. On the day of your rental, we will go over the location of this equipment with you. Children 12 and under will always wear a PFD and we will provide this for your child that fits correctly. As part of your safety equipment, you'll be given a whistle as well as the horn on the boat. You can find a fire extinguisher in one of your compartments. First and foremost, to operate your boat, you will need to supply it with power. The battery switch is located here. It will vary based on what model you rent from us. When starting the boat, make sure the throttle is in neutral. Right here, you will find your kill switch. Make sure that is also in place for the boat to start. Once your battery is on, the throttle is in neutral and the kill switch is in place, you can turn the boat on. Always on the dashboard, this switch operates the bilge blower. It allows the fumes of gas to leave the engine compartment. Make sure your trim is all the way down before increasing speed. This will allow the boat to plank quicker. This is the operation for the trim. You will receive a chart similar to this one when you come to pick up your rental boat. Uh, you can also download the app Navionics to help you navigate the lake, but we always suggest you check back at this map. If participating in water skiing, wakeboarding, surfing, or tubing, a water sport participant must be wearing a USCG approved PFD at all times. An observer must be at least 13 years old, responsible, and able to assist the water sporting participant. You are aware that there are rules and regulations applying to water sport activities as governed by the state of New Hampshire, and you are responsible to, for adhering to them.